So in the previous program we have seen that in the BMI calculator we have seen that we converted BMI from float to integer but that is not the right way to do it. For example BMI is 2.6666 something any, any fractional number like 2.666 if I convert it to integer it will simply chop off the decimal points and it will give you 2. So 2.6 has to be rounded in general in mathematics we do rounding we don't simply chop off the decimal points. So typecasting into an integer from float is actually chopping off the number. So in this video, we will see how to uh, round a number. So let us say we have a number called a number 8 by 3. So 8 by 3 is giving us 2.66666. One thing that you have to understand here is 8 is an integer. 8 is an integer and 3 is an integer. When I divide it, the result will be a float. Always the result of a division will be a float, even if it is a clean division. Even if you do 4 by 2, it will give you 2.0. It will be a floating point number. Now, if I try to chop it, so let us say this is the result I got, 2.6666 I got. Now I am trying to uh, convert it into an integer, then the output is 2. It has to be 3. Anything above 2.5 has to be rounded off to 3, below 2.5 has to be rounded off to 2. But here I am getting 2, which is not the right way of doing it. So for that we will go for rounding. So round is a function. So round is an inbuilt function, you don't have to do anything, you have to just write round. And if I try to see round of 8 by 3, now it is giving me 3 why 2.666 is actually 3 when you round it off. You can also round up to 2 decimals or 3, de 3 decimal points or some, you can give some precision. For example, if I give round off 2.77 to comma 2, I want to round it up to 2 decimal points, I mean 2, uh, two places after the decimal point, then it is 2.78, right? So this is how you can use round and one other way to get an integer while division is floor division is possible. If I do double slash 8 double use of spaces okay which means so if I do double slash double forward slashes then it is floor division okay. So what is floor division? division is? It will divide the numbers, but the output will be an integer. It will not round off, it will chop off. For example, 8 by 3, if you print it, you are going to get 2 as the output. It is 2.666, but it is going to give you 2 as the output. That is floor division. Okay, Floor division will give you an integer. If you want to check the type of it, what is the output given by the floor division, you can apply type. And you can see that it is an integer. Floor division is giving you integer. If you want to see the type of normal division, if I do 8 by 3, normal division, then the type is going to be a float. The type is going to be a float. So normal division will always give you floating point number and floor division is always going to give you integers. You have to remember that. Okay. And anyway, while writing programs, we will do that. Okay. Now one more thing is shorthand operators are there. For example, let us say some member is there, result as 4 by 2. Now if I have to divide this result by 2 again, if you already have a member and you have to use it, reuse it in the calculation, then shorthand notations will be very helpful. So if I write like this, forward slash, which means divide equal to 2, result divide equal to 2, it means that result equal to result by 2. Okay. This actually means result equal to result by 2, which is nothing but for forward slash 2. You can do the same thing for addition, subtraction, multiplication, any operator you can use it. This is called a shorthand representation because many times in our programs we will be using it. Okay. For example, you have a user score which is 0. Now you want to increment it by 1. You need not do score equal to score plus 1. You can directly do score plus 1 equal to 1. 
in case in fact you can also put minus equal to 1 star equal to 1 divide equal to 1 anything you can write here you can write it okay thank you